If you charge your customers on a regular payment interval, like a billing plan or a subscription plan that can be set up through the Stripe dashboard with the billing plan and subscriptions feature. So today let's take a look at how that works. First off, if you're initiating recurring billing plans to your customers, a system that properly stores and encrypts credit card data is very important. And since Stripe is a level one PCI compliant payment provider, this is a pretty good option for you to use if you're wanting to, to use payment and subscription plans. So as noted on their website, Stripe allows you to integrate with third-party software to create those recurring billing options. But in this Stripe tutorial, we're actually gonna focus on the recurring billing options from within the Stripe dashboard itself. As I noted on a quick side note in my Stripe virtual terminal video, it does matter how you get the credit card information into your Stripe dashboard. So check the link in the description for that video and the support links that specify how to use the Stripe virtual terminal because billing plans and other payments initiated through the Stripe dashboard in a mail order or telephone order environment are subject to that special exception. So keep that in mind as as we go along. Once you're logged into Stripe, locate the create button in the upper right hand corner of the main menu at the top. And if you click on the drop down, you'll see the subscription option. You can just click on it with your mouse or you can use the hotkeys, which are C and S in order to automatically launch the subscription page. And in order to use the hotkeys, you just have to have that browser active on your web page and have Stripe opened, obviously. The first field is to find an existing customer or add a new one. If you have a new customer, a light box pops up and you can add all of the account details for the customer in question and it will apply it directly to this billing plan. If you wanna bill a customer that's already saved in your Stripe account, just use the drop down to select the correct customer. In the pricing section, you'll add new pricing. And if you're adding a new product or service, you'll be able to do that to add all the pertinent details in the light box that pops up. If you're billing for a product or service that you've already created as a product, let's say, or, or a service, it really doesn't matter. They're one and the same. Just click the button and select the product. And if you want to add more than one item to the billing plan, just click the add product button and repeat the process again to add additional services or products to the billing plan. Under the subscription schedule, just choose the start date and the end date for the billing cycles. Pretty self-explanatory. In the next section, you can also choose whether you want to have a free trial and the number of days uh, associated with the free trial if you'd like. As you build the billing plan, you'll notice that it updates on the summary section over on the side, and that shows you what you've already selected for your customer in question. If you would like to select a customer that has a saved card on their profile, this radio button will auto-select to change the credit card that's already on file with you in your Stripe account and you can move right on to the next section. If, however, you had a customer selected that does not have a card on file with you, you have this add a payment method button that will allow you to enter all of the credit card deal right here in this spot and it'll go under the details of this customer. Under the advanced options, you can add custom invoice fields if you would like. For example, the purchase order, customer number, or anything else that's specific specific to the billing plan or subscription plan that your customer is paying for. You can also add a thank you note if you'd like in the invoice footer section and you're ready to start the subscription. Once you have one or more subscription plans set up inside of your Stripe account, you can click over to the payments tab in the main menu of your Stripe account and click the subscriptions sub tab on the side and it will list out all current, scheduled, and canceled subscription plans so you can keep track of all of your payments and manage them accordingly. So let me know what questions you have about billing plans and storing credit cards within Stripe. There's a Stripe Marketplace link in the description of this video in case you wanna explore third-party subscription softwares that are listed out on the partners page. Let me know in the comments, what kind of business are you running? How are you using billing plans and subscription plans for your specific company and your business? And finally, check out the Stripe playlist at the end of this video if you want more tutorials 
tutorials like this one. There's a, a Stripe payment processing playlist. It'll, I'll, I'll go through all different types of features and functionality within Stripe. And if you have questions, we do also offer personal consultations. Links are in the description if you want to reach out to our team to talk anything and all things payments. If you learned something new today and you liked the content, I always appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button with the little bell notification so you get notified when I release new videos. That's all for today. I'm Brian Manning, and I'll see you on the next one.